TC here and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making meringues, the best meringues ever. They're very easy to make, very small number of ingredients, six large eggs or seven medium sized eggs um, because you need the egg whites but uh, we're going to separate those in a moment. So that's six large eggs, caster sugar, some corn flour and some white wine vinegar. Okay. Okay, first thing I'm going to do now is warm the oven up. So I've set it to 140 at the moment. I'm going to cook it cook the meringues at 120, but at the moment just put it on 140 to warm up the oven. This is a merry berry recipe this one and it works superbly. First thing I'm going to do now is Separate the egg yolks from the egg whites. You can get little machine or little gizmos to do this. I do it the way my mother used to, which is to tap the egg and crack it and just let the egg white come out and just move the egg yolk backwards and forwards until it's all out. And there's one. don't want any egg yolk in the uh, bowl. If you do get some in there you have to get it out very quickly. If you get too much in there or if you break an egg yolk then you may have to start again unfortunately because it will stop it rising. So I'm just going to quickly do all of these and then uh, we'll carry on. Okay, and if all has gone to plan, you should have a bowl full of egg white, quite a bit in there, and a little bowl, a little dish with six egg yolks in it. Okay, so that's if it's all gone to plan. If you do get any egg shell in your mix, just pick it out with a spoon Okay, so the egg yolks have been put in the fridge. They can be used for making cakes or just scrambling up and eating. Now I'm going to whiz up the egg whites. I've got an old Kenwood Chef here, a very old Kenwood Chef, this one. But if you're using a hand whisk, um, hand blender, you can use that, but it'll, it will take a little bit longer. But you don't want to whisk them up too much. You don't want them all light and fluffy. You just want them holding their peak. Okay, so you just whiz them up enough so that they hold a peak. So, just stick it on. This one is very noisy. Okay, so I've whizzed it up. It's just holding its peak. And now, <coughs> I'm going to put in the sugar. Okay, I'm just now weighing 12 ounces of sugar. Just got to put a little bit more in there. Okay, what I'm going to do now, whizzing it up, I'm going to be putting in the sugar in with the egg whites. So, just shoveling them in. Okay, it only needs about a minute or so just to make sure everything's mixed. Okay, in here I've got a teaspoon of corn flour and a teaspoon of white wine vinegar. Mix those two together. Turn it on. That's it. 
that's all there is to it. And as you can see, it's made a lovely meringue. Just going to scrape that out of there. And the way to test it is hold it above your head and see if it all plops out. No, nope. so that's a good meringue there. Okay, so what I've done here is line a couple of large tins with some um, like baking, reusable baking parchments, baking sheets. Uh, you can use grease proof, whatever you've got. Make sure you've got some large trays because you'll need them large when they go in the oven because they do come up quite big once they're done. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing now is just put in, you can make them smaller, if you make smaller ones don't cook them for an hour, these will take an hour to bake the ones I make, but if you want to make them smaller or more of them, you can give them about 30 to 45 minutes and just check on them every so often. Okay, so I've finished putting out the uh, mixture onto the trays. I've got 13 there. They're quite big. Some of them will be very big. And uh, time to put them in the oven now. Turn the oven down to 120. I remember we put it in on, we started it off at 140. Turn it down to 120 and put them in the oven. Okay, there they are in the oven. The large tray on the top, smaller tray there, and the bigger tray, the small little tray on the bottom and uh, they're just going to sit there now cooking for around about an hour just to make sure that's down to about 120 meringues have had an hour just this minute turned off the uh, oven so they're in there nice and warm um, now we're going to take them out and leave them on the trays to cool down Just come out of the oven now. Quite large, nice meringues. You can see the size they are. There. Okay, they've got a few little cracks on them, but that's fine. They'll, they'll just seal. If you lift them off now, the, what tends to happen is the bottom implodes on the uh, the base. It doesn't affect eating them, but it's uh, they do implode a bit. But so I'm just going to leave them on there for a little while, just to cool down, and then. Uh, We'll have a look inside one. Okay, there he is. Slice through the middle. Oh. There he is in the middle. And there's the meringue. The harder meringue on the outside. And the mallow in the middle, if you like the mallow. If you don't like the mallow, just cook them a bit longer until that all goes hard. But um, I like to pick the tops off and then eat the marshmallowy bit in the middle. So there you have it, Mary Berry's meringues. Um, adjusted them a little bit, making them smaller ones instead of a big one. She makes a big pavlova one, but make some smaller ones. Make them even smaller if you want them smaller. Adjust the cooking time. If you have small ones, half an hour, 40 minutes. These have had an hour, and I think they are absolutely perfect. So. Have fun making your meringues.